In this video, we're going to differentiate this function. So before we do that, uh, we're going to rewrite it. Remember, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here it's e to something else. So when we take the derivative, we basically write this, and then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So because we have to do that, we'll start by rewriting this. We'll take this t to the 6 and bring it up like this. This is t to the negative 6. So now let's go ahead and take the derivative, and you'll see that this makes the derivative of the inside function much easier. Remember, when you have a fraction and there's a number up top, it's always better just to bring the bottom up, and that makes the differentiation easier every single time. So g prime of t, so the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, so here it's e to this, so e to the negative 3, t to the negative 6 times the derivative of the inside function. So this derivative is a power rule. So it'll be negative 6 times negative 3. So uh, 18, positive 18, t, and then you subtract 1. So negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. Again, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So we got this times the derivative of that inside function. So this is our inside function. So you just multiply these. That gives you 18, and then you subtract 1. I think the last thing we can do to make this look professional and good and awesome is maybe put the 18 in the front and bring down that t. So this is equal to 18 e, oh, let's, let's fix this too, negative 3 over t to the 6, just make it look a little bit better, over, and then just bring this down, t to the 7. That would be a pretty nice way to write the final answer to this problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.